Okay, so now we're moving on from the Hello World application and we're moving to the building a simple user interface. User interface is how a user uh, interfaces with a device. So if I'm using my device to text, then the interface would be a white screen on which I could click uh, to type my message or click in an area to say whom I'm going to send it to. I have a keyboard with which I can type and I have a send button and an attachment button so I can send different files. So that's the basic look of the user interface. There's lots of different ones, games, uh, Fruit Ninja has a swipe where you you know can do that and, and save your game back up and we have uh, Facebook and Twitter which has their own um, interfaces that are uh, indicative of their systems. So this user interface when we're all said and done will look something like this down here and um, you know it, it's going to be simple it's really not going to have any function we'll be able to type over this message and click the send button but it won't really have any functionality it won't do anything it won't send it to anybody um, but what we're learning from here is how to create a linear layout and know what one is how to add a text field and know what one is as well as a string resource add a button and to make an input box fill in the screen width now they also encourage you to read layouts so this tutorial is not a substitute for actually reading this. This just gives you a visual on the mechanics of completing the assignments. Um, so with that being said, I highly encourage uh, that you actually read over this, but use this video as more of a resource to making sure you did it right and you understood it. So very quickly, we're going to open the activity main XML file. Uh, from the resource layout directory. So I've already done that, but I'm going to go ahead and close these so you can see how I would do that. Okay, so the resource and layout would be right here, resource, and then layout, which is right there, and then open up the activity main, which is this file here. And then it's going to ask me to delete the text view element and change the relative layout element to a linear layout element. Well, an element is essentially denoted by green in Eclipse with the ADT package. So we have relative layout and it has a left arrow that means it's being opened and then we have this sort of right arrow at the end that closes that element. And we have a text view element right here and this is closed. And then finally, the relative el layout element is closed with the left brace, a uh, slash, and then a closing right brace here. So this is the actual closure of the complete element. So everything within here, like the text view, is within the relative layout. So they wanted me to change that to a linear layout. So that's just by changing the name here. And they wanted me to delete the text view element, which would be here to here. Now, um, I'm going to go ahead and scroll down. I'm passing this because, again, this is not meant to be read uh, at this point. I'm just showing you the mechanics of it. You should definitely go back to read it. <clears throat> so, um, they want to have editable text with the edit text. So we're going to put this edit text element inside the linear layout element. So I'm just going to copy and paste this. They want it inside the linear layout. What I'm going to do is give myself some space so visually it's easy for me to denote one element from the next. And then I'm going to skip down through this useful resource down here and I'm going to take a look at adding string resources. Now, this tells me I need to go to the resource values strings.xml. So, what that means is go down to resource, open up the values, and go to strings.xml. Now, I do want you to notice something. I haven't saved this yet because there's an asterisk here, and that's pretty important because I can't run this till I've actually saved these files. It won't run properly. So, Going back to the uh, directions, um, they want me to essentially have this here. 
So I'm going to copy and paste this. And I'm going to edit over that just by pasting. Okay. Now it says add a button. Add a button to the layout immediately following the edit text element. So I'm going to go ahead and copy and paste this. And it said to do it in layout. So I know the layout is actually here because this is the linear layout area. And it says to do it immediately following the edit text element. So that must mean inside the linear layout element, but right after the edit text. So I'm going to go ahead and put that there. Again, I have some space here so I can delineate the difference between one element to the next visually. And then um, it says I'll eventually have this and it'll, it'll look like this in figure two. So it also explains a little bit about the edit text and why it works. So it says, here's how my complete layout file should look. So it has this XML uh, declaration. It has a linear layout element opening, edit text, open and close, button element, open and close, and then finally the closure of the linear layout. I can just go ahead and verify that right here. Now, again, I see these two asterisks. So I'm going to control S on this one, and then I'm going to come here and control S on this one. If I go back, my errors should be gone. So going back to the directions, it now says I can run this from the toolbar. So I'm going to come up here to my main activity. I'm going to go to the run button. And I'm going to go ahead and run that. Now I'm going to choose the device for which I want to run that on. Again, I'm not using the AVD. I'm going ahead and I'm using my own device. And I run that. Now this is being launched on my Android device. And you'll see essentially what you saw on the tutorial, uh, you have an enter a message area. And if you actually click on it with your finger, it'll bring up your keyboard and you can enter a message in there. Again, if you hit send, it, it doesn't do anything. It doesn't really have any functionality, but it is the beginning of learning how to create these user interfaces. So you now have the mechanics on how to do it. Make sure you go back, make sure you read it and try to make the best understanding of this because that's really where the learning happens is through reading these tutorials. And good luck with your Android programming.